Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Norwich City Career Mode. This is episode 9 and today we will have games against Bournemouth and Wolves. So the first game against Bournemouth here is away at their stadium and this is their team. So coming into this game, um, I think we're first in the league so we wanted to keep that up. But as Jerome comes forward here, plays through Bradley Johnson and he scores straight away. I thought there was off this was offside when I was playing it. Because it looks offside to me, but he did score. So just before I start commentating properly on this game, uh, my headphones, uh, which I said I'll be getting in the last game, have delayed. They will be here on Monday, so they will be here for episode uh, 11 of the career mode. So yeah, that's Bradley Johnson's second goal in the game. But here you see Jerome get released away by Basson, using his pace, takes on the keeper, tries to curl it, good save by Boric, and Jerome can't get the rebound. But here comes Jerome again, one piece of brilliant skill, two piece of brilliant skill, and the finish is even better. Lovely into the top corner to make it 2-0 to us. So uh, we're top of the league. We In this, games like this, Bournemouth are doing really well in real life. But on this game, they never seem to do well because at the start of the season, no one thought they'd be in first place. Well, when I'm recording this on the 11th, uh, the day it will go up, um, they are top of the league, but they're playing tomorrow, I think. So that's Cameron Jerome's seventh goal in the league. And Kermogant passes to OK now as Bournemouth get their first opportunity. to phrase a pass inside to Daniels, and unfortunately they do score on their first attempt of the game, which is slightly unlucky for us. But it was good play by them, and Charlie Daniels gets his first goal this season. But here you see Russell Martin brilliantly chip it over towards Gary Hooper on the right-hand side. He smashes it, and Boric makes a good save, and eventually it's cleared. But here comes Lewis Graben powering forward in the 79th minute. Sees Patrick Bamford to his left, the brilliant super sub, who always comes on and do as, does well. And he's came on today, and he does well again, because Patrick Bamford, I gave him a start last episode, and he did nothing. Um, so, uh, I, I did um, decide to leave him out, um, bring him on as a sub, because every time I bring him on as a sub, he does well, but he doesn't do well when he starts, so that's his second goal of the season, and that is full time. So, we win the game 3-1, we dominated the amount of shots, Bournemouth had 55% possession, and man match went to Cameron Jerome. So, here you see uh, a scout report, I think this is the first one. As uh, we just signed one player with good potential, yeah, this is the first scout report, my scout in Finland. So here we have the second game and final game of the episode, Share Factory, the um, thing I use to upload this with, um, always gives me trouble when I try and put three games in an episode. I know that's a problem, being in the championship, you want to upload three games in an episode to get through the season quite quickly. Um, but when you get to the Premier League, only 38 games in the season, not 46, then you kind of like, oh, OK, that's fine if we do two episodes in this game. But hopefully we'll be in the BPL come the end of the season. But getting back to this match, Ruddy has to make a good save in the sixth minute, which is Wolves' first opportunity. But then McDonald picks it up and it comes all the way through to Sacco. I thought that was a foul on McDonald there. But the referee played on, gave Sacco a chance to score. He doesn't score. Really, lots of chances in this as Ruddy can't punch it away. And the header, which actually came off Martin, goes just wide but here comes Bamford forward and Bradley Johnson I don't know how he missed this uh, Patrick Bamford I decided to give him another go from the um, start starting lineup uh, but you see he doesn't actually do anything in this match but hit as Foley comes forward and shoots but he hits the side netting but that was it until half time also and now Henry whips in the corner in the 58th minute as Sacco is coming on their star man. Sagbo gets the header away and then Sacco, who just came on, has a diving header at the back post. But that comes to nothing. That would have been a good goal if it went in, but that was full time, nil nil. Another clean sheet. We've been having a lot of clean sheets this season. And I'm not sure where that moves. I think we're top of the league now. Yeah. Yes, we're top of the league and we also have the best goal difference uh, by 10. We can scored 19 and only conceded 9 so if you did enjoy this episode leave a like thanks for watching and i'll see you for episode 10